that's why I'm wearing this cap because it's children's day. So this is my favorite cap and I used to love this day when I was a kid. So I'm making one of the delicious recipes which kids like. That's a chocolate cake. Let's get started. Hi friends, today is children's day and I thought why not to make a yummy chocolate cake for all those kids who love chocolates. So I have some ingredients with me and these ingredients are to make one cup of chocolate cake. So this is one fourth cup of grinded sugar. This is 25 grams of unsalted butter. One big tablespoon of cocoa powder. One big tablespoon of maida. One egg. Some chocolates. So you can also use dark chocolates. And these are some gems for making our cake beautiful. So let's get started. So I have put in my butter and chocolate in a bowl and I need to microwave it for 30 to 40 seconds till my chocolate becomes soft and I can dissolve both the things properly. You can also use a double boiler method instead of microwave. So I need to microwave my chocolates and butter for 30 seconds. You can see I've set the time and I'll see after 30 seconds. This is the melted chocolate after 30 seconds you can see it's melted perfectly i just need to whisk it little bit so that i have a smooth batter then i'll add all my ingredients to this batter i'll show you how time to add all the other ingredients to this mixture one on one just add all of them we'll add sugar at the last and now just toss your egg from the between and you that's how you do it and now properly mix all of them till we have a soft batter so ideally you can do it with the help of a hand blender but I prefer doing it on my own because I think this is the best way of getting a soft batter. That's how you do it. The way you whisk your batter for an omelette. The same way you need to properly mix all the ingredients till we have a soft batter. So we need to do it more and at last we'll add our sugar once all our ingredients are done. I think it's almost done. I can't see any lumps in it. Now it's time to add our sugar. So before adding whole sugar, you can mix it and then you can taste this. If you feel it fine, then you can go ahead and make the cake. If you don't, you can add some more sugar. So it's a lump free better. You can see very clearly. So it's time to grease your cup with little of butter and then we'll pour some mixture in our cup. We'll make this recipe in our microwave. So it can be made in cooker too and of course oven is the best method to make. So all the methods are very easy so I'll first show you how to make the cake in the microwave. Then I'll also instruct you how we can make the same cake in cooker. So I think the greasing is being done properly, you can see. So now you just fill this cup half. That's it. Because it needs some space to fluff now. That's why we have filled this cup half only. After being microwave for about two minutes, I just need to check using a toothpick whether our cake is perfect or not you can see it comes out clean that means my cake is done this see like this but I don't think there is any requirement it's already done from the edges so what I need to do is just put the plate flip it over and ta -da! My cake is ready. You can see 
This is so yummy. The perfect cake that I wanted. It looks like a muffin, small muffin. It's just tempting. Guys, that's my tempting chocolate cake. And that's so with some ice cream, some garnishing with hot chocolate and it's too yummy. So it's too easy to make. Just a two minute microwave cake and it's ready for your children. So